Developing on the northwest side, a man working at dawn came face to face with armed robbers who were stealing a part from his SUV. WGN's Courtney Spinelli live in Edison Park with more on that story. Courtney. Micah and Ben, the entire crime was caught on camera early Saturday morning. The victim's son says his dad was just parked out here while he was hard at work inside his business. That's when he noticed something suspicious and came outside. We're here working, trying to make a living out of it. And 530 in the morning, people are out things like these, you know, like this happened. So it's pretty sad. It was around that time Saturday morning that Edwin Espinoza says his phone rang. My father gives me a phone call. Hey, um, I just got uh, robbed at gunpoint. His dad telling him he came into work for his shift cleaning the hot dog joint after it closed when he noticed two people near his SUV trying to take his catalytic converter. Tried to stop the situation, but the guy just pointed the gun. So what is he going to do? Just Nothing just backs out and lets him take it. Chicago police say the suspect showed handguns and told the 48 year old victim to walk away. He listened and police say they eventually took off in a white SUV, making off with the catalytic converter, according to Espinosa. The entire confrontation leaving his father shaken up and concerned for his safety. Now when he comes here, it's like, will it happen again? You can see in this video here, captured by a neighboring business's surveillance cameras. One suspect hands the other a tool. That person then goes under the victim's SUV as the second person appears to keep watch at one point, pulling out a gun and pointing it. It's scary. It's spooky. You know, they got a, a big saw, they, a gun, everything. Emerald Isle owner David Canavan says he just left work about 30 minutes before this all happened. He calls the crime brazen and bold, especially as vehicles were passing by and the sun was coming up. This is happening and just because you read it on the paper or hear about it in the news, a small little clip, to physically see it is something completely different. It's part of the reason why Canavan says he wanted to share the video. Area business owners say they have each other's backs and the community they serve. We don't put up with it and people in the neighborhood now know and have seen firsthand when there's trouble around here, we get it out, we get it gone. Both Canavan and Espinosa pointing out the area is home to many police officers, current and retired. They call Edison Park family oriented and say criminal activity won't be tolerated. We love serving the people, especially when they come out the bars. And that's exactly what Espinosa says they're going to continue to do. Now, despite being shaken up, no one was injured in this incident. CPD says there are no suspects in custody in connection to this. As always, anybody with information is encouraged to call area detectives or go online and submit a tip anonymously. Reporting live in Edison Park, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.